All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to talk about the uh, the next year in gaming um, as it pertains to PlayStation. So we are only a couple of months into, actually three months, we just started our third month into the year, and we already have not one, but two PlayStation, well, actually three, three PlayStation bangers that are coming to PC. We first got Helldivers 2, now we're getting Horizon Forbidden West, and the next one on the slate is Ghosts of Tsushima. All while the PlayStation boys are going to be waiting until 2025 for their next PlayStation AAA banger. So... In contrast, when you look at Xbox, Xbox is also providing PlayStation with not one, not two, not three, but four, actually five, Xbox games that are going to PlayStation 5. But they're dropping eight plus Xbox games on Xbox this year. While PlayStation is pretty much ignoring their their base, their their bread and butter. The oh wait, that's not even the bread and butter. PlayStation fanboys don't even buy games. So I mean, I get I get what they're doing, but that kind of sucks, man. And 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 I'm being real about this. If you're a PlayStation fan right now, you should be upset. You should be mad. They're basically not giving you any games, except for these third party games that that aren't even PlayStation first party games. So, I mean, we all know. I mean, like, look at look at what just happened with 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 Square Enix's uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, man. Like, we we barely got a a blurry but um, a blurry game <laughs> in performance mode, and then yeah, dude, I I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to tell my PlayStation friends except for the fact that, like, look, man. I've been saying this since the beginning of this generation that PlayStation Five isn't this isn't this isn't what playstation used to be man like this this is different this is changing there's there's something going on with the with the overall playstation hierarchy in terms of you know being able to fund these games and put them out there there's there's something wrong there's something wrong and you know if you listen to the playstation fanboy channels over on twitter and and youtube like you you wouldn't know you wouldn't realize this but it's uh this is probably going to end up being PlayStation's worst freaking generation to date, at least in terms of first party output, um, first party content. Like, dude, it's it's a while before Naughty Dog has a new game. It's it's a while before, um, you know, maybe Sucker Punch, may, maybe 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 they really do announce Ghost of Tsushima two, and and we get that, you know, within the next couple of years or so. Um, that would probably be probably be kind of feasible to get that but i mean like you're you're you're, you're still waiting i mean like you you've already had guerrilla games drop a game you've already had you know sony santa monica drop a ps5 game insomniac's literally been holding up the playstation 5 ever since the playstation 5 has launched and we just watched you know london studios get closed down we've lost uh playstation's lost 900 freaking talented developers I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys, man. I, I I I really wish that these PlayStation fanboy channels would stop talking so much about Xbox and start holding PlayStation accountable. Because at the end of the day, man, if once once all of these games go to PC, bro, there's no reason, no reason whatsoever to buy a PS5. And I think that okay, that's. That's that's not. I mean, it it will be true. Obviously, there's no reason to buy a uh, an, an Xbox if you if you have the money to buy a PC. There, there there's no reason to buy either one of these consoles anymore. And that's good for the consumer because now we get choice. We can move over to PC and we can actually buy enough power to to like really fully enjoy these games on whatever resolution we want to. But you know that does that does get a little bit expensive and i'm i'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that like pc gaming is is like super cheap or anything cuz it's not obviously there is a lot larger upfront cost associated with coming to pc and then it's making that choice making that decision of what you want to buy so that you can actually you know have longevity with that 
Um, <clears throat> but I think any, I think pretty much any of these 16, uh, 16 gig cards that, that are, that are in that $500 range is probably going to be sufficient for this generation. Um, if, if you're that kind of person that just wants to get in and not have to worry about it for a while, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can get, you know, like a 7,800 XT or 7,900 GRE, uh, 4070 super 4070 TI super, uh, that's going to be a little bit more costly if you want to go with the uh, with the with the Nvidia side of things. But you know, either way, if if you have at least 16 gigs of VRAM, I think you'll probably be okay. Um, I, I was playing yesterday on the 7600 XT, a lot of these new games that just came out, and, and dude, I'm I'm easily hitting 1440p, staying up close to 60 frames a second. You know, utilizing FSR and FSR three. If, if you have to, to, to push that, that frame rate even higher than that. So the, the, the technology is there PC wise to keep you doing pretty decently on these games. I'll be testing, I'll be testing out Dragon's Dogma 2 and, you know, Horizon Forbidden West later this month. So, so we'll definitely find out, but yeah, dude, for the most part, man, I, I, I think that if you're a PlayStation fanboy and you're out there, you know, giving Xbox people a hard time. Man, Xbox guys already went through this, man. They don't care. They're battle-hardened. You guys are the ones that should probably be worrying about your own house. It's it's uh it's one of those things that you guys are going to have to deal with. I know that the I know that the stages of grief are 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 pretty are pretty long and can be drawn out sometimes, but you guys are still in denial it appears. So, all right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.